Zdravo, dobro jen from Belgrade, Serbia. Today we're going on a tour, more specifically a dessert tour. This is a wonderful country because you've got a mix of kind of like all the people who have been here, the Hungarians, the Serbs, the Ottomans, and you've got like this really great food culture and it's super mixed, a melange as you will. So today we're going to head to, do, to two spots. One spot, a little more up class where we can get some really tasty cakes, try those, and then we're going to head downtown to a little hole in the wall spot to try some Ottoman inspired Serbian style desserts. So if that sounds good, if that sounds sweet, come along. Okay, so I found a little cafe to take a coffee at. I'm gonna tell you about Serbian desserts. And this is a really cool story because it's so varied here. You get so much, so many different peoples, different cultures having passed through this area that the, the story of Serbian food is a really deep and really rich one. So I'm starting to start with two cakes that are very, I would say historically interesting and very, very common here in Serbia. So first we're starting with the Krempita, Krempita. Also in German called Kremschnitte, which means cream slice. So this one's pretty straightforward. You've got a layer of very thin kind of like a puff pastry or sometimes it's like a thin dough. It's very similar to a Napoleon. And then in the middle, you have a thick Chantilly cream on the top powdered sugar. Really quite, uh, really quite traditional. And you'll see this in almost every shop here that sells any kind of desserts. The story of Krempita comes from very, particularly the times where parts of Serbia were part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and from the influence from the northern or the central region of Europe. This is kind of a really classic dish that you can find all over Europe and all over the places that these empires were, but the Serbians have come to love it and it's part of their dessert culture. So the question we always ask ourselves when making a food video is, how does it taste? Let's get in there. Gonna get a nice little bite you can see the top nice and crispy and then you just get in there and it's beautiful look at that Ooh. and we're gonna give it a try mm. Ooh. the cream is you can see is really rich and thick it's a it's a custard really and so it's very eggy the top has that little bit of crunch that you need and then you just get this overall sweet, pleasant kind of mouthfeel. It's a nice thing. Mm. Tastes like European royalty and excellence. I think with any dessert video, you need a strong double espresso to kind of get your, uh, get your bones tingling, get your stomach awake. Since Serbia and the Balkans has a pretty close proximity to Italy, we also get really good Italian coffee culture here. So that's another great thing about this region. Our second cake that I'm gonna tell you about is called the Reforma Torta. So, basically this is a pretty simple cake. You've got different layers. Um, here they also have some, I believe, flax seeds in there. And then in between the layers you have chocolate with a nice chocolate kind of custard cream on top. The reason they call this the Reforma Torta, or I, I guess the reason that people say the, the urban lore, the myth, is that um, after World War II, uh, there were reforms on food rations, and so uh, you could essentially use uh, butter, eggs, and chocolate in a way that was seen as, like, not wasteful, but you could use it in cakes and you could use it in things that were indulgent as opposed to just these normal staples. Uh, most of Europe during World War II had rations, meaning that they, people couldn't access certain goods, certain foods, and if they did, they only had so much, um, so much of it. And so you probably couldn't make a chocolate layer cake with custard uh, with your rations. I tried to stand it up, but it keeps falling over. So I'm just gonna go for a nice bite of this. We're doing it to go style. Nothing fancy here on Tales from the Road, just the real stories. Get a nice piece of the cake. Give it a shot, Givoli. Mmm, ooh, that's a really good one. What I thought was flat seeds is actually walnuts. 
and they have a nice texture. The layer cake is very, very light, very airy. It has a really delicious uh, chocolate cream, very sugary, and then the, the chocolate on the top, pretty good. It's a very rich cake. I will not be finishing it if I'm gonna eat five desserts today for sure. In the Balkan heat, it's melting a bit, but you can really see you've got some nice cream, some nice chocolate. It's, it's beautiful. So I walked all the way out here to this special, beautiful bakery, and they're closed. So we will see you in a different shirt on a different day.